Plaintiff Lucas Campbell says he and the defendant were best friends, but he claims she's nothing but an underage drunk, and he has the video to prove it. He's suing her today for defamation of character. Defendant Alexis Ward and her mother Crystal admit that Alexis liked to drink, but insists Lucas drank right along with her. Alexis is countersuing for emotional distress. All right, start with you, Lucas. Me and Alexis were best friends in 2019. We were really close as best friends, or supposedly. And, you know, we would be really close on what would happen in our home life, our household life, our lives, you know, that go on with each other. Prime example, you know, you know, for instance, you know, her mom said that she said that her mom has something to do with popping pills. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, you know, Lexi is, you know, <laughs> an underage, you know, drunk. Um, but, you know, what did you share? What did you share with her? <laughs> Um, how my parents were going through their stuff and um, just being <laughs> their, mother their stuff, mother. popping pills. No, my parents don't do drugs. Okay, well, what do you t- what stuff? You they were going through stuff. You were very specific about her stuff. Plaintiff Lucas Campbell says he and the defendant were best friends, but he claims she's nothing but an underage drunk, and he has the video to prove it. Let me hear about his family stuff, young lady. He would he would dog his mom and dad, and I would be the one who would have to tell them what he was saying about them to everybody in Wilmington. But she pretty much told a bunch of lies about them to everybody in Wilmington about his parents. Okay. Ma'am, you had your hand up. You wanted to refute, I'm sure, the pill popping. You don't seem to be... <laughs> oh, yes, sir. You ain't not, yes, not sir, right yes, now, so whatever it is, <laughs> at least you haven't popped any since you've been on here. You're not Thank not. You, Your Honor. You ain't not <laughs> yet, unless it ain't took effect. Uh, All right. <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye on you, though. If you yeah, nod, I'm over there. You better not nod over there. <laughs> don't judge no good dope fiend when he see one. <laughs> Go ahead. Continue. I'm sorry. Um, and I believe if you look at um, page uh, six, um, there's a video transcript or not even a thing. I, I put in a video for that. Um, uh, me and Alexis going at it because she was under the influence of alcohol. I don't want to see no porno. <laughs> Stop. See, yeah. How much y'all were going at it? No, I mean, I meant like verbally, like arguing because she was oh. intoxicated and she wanted. Okay, more you alcohol see, cultural I differences. Being, I was, I was being, I was being a friend of. See how cultural and age differences make a difference? And right. you're saying you think somebody meant one thing and they meant another because they're either a different different generation or different in many other ways, whatever the case might be. I th- that's what we say when we talk about having yeah. relations with a woman. You say oh, Lord, we were no, going I'm at sorry, it, God. meaning I'm you're dead. arguing. I'm, I'm just pointing out how people misinterpret <laughs> statements that are made because they are either from different cultures and or generations. That's all. Just I'm want sorry. Point that I, out I think Alexis, to viewers. I think Alexis would be wouldn't date me because I'm too ugly. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see what you have then. If you're just going at it uh, in verbally in terms of arguing. No. Why are y'all babysitting me? Because you can't even <laughs> walk correctly. Oh, you want to get behind the wheel? Sleep. Oh my God, I'm gonna spit on him. You spit on me, you nasty. I swear to God on my mother, I will smack the drunk out of you. I will smack the drunk out of y'all. <laughs> will turn sober in 2.3 <laughs> milliseconds. And I'll still fight That's you. right. Okay, and I'll still fight you sober. Why can't I have another shot? Because you're <laughs> drunk and you cannot know, no, no. Send this me down. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're trying to help her. That's for sure. I'm not. I'm, I'm not <laughs> being funny. You were. I mean, they, y'all curse each other out and curse when you talk. I curse when I talk. I got the pottiest mouth in uh, <laughs> Chicago, so I am not going to try to hold that against you. Now, what were you doing? So smashed. Um, endangering I was yourself. Bad influences. He also drunk too, so he can't say he never drunk because he drunk. Um, 
I was around I, really bad people and had a rough part in my life, but I haven't drunk since then. And I actually work two jobs and have a lot going on. Okay. So what was going on to drive you to drinking? Um, I lost my job because it was a lot of drama. It was just a lot. And we were in you kind of tell me. You, If you're using that as a defense, you have to explain. You just can't say it was a lot. It was a drama like my boss was racist and sexist and I couldn't work with the man like that and I only could put up with it for so long. So I thought Drove I was you to drinking. Leave. Well, not just that. Um, I got my heart broken. The house was very traumatic. All right. In your honor. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, actually, I like to second that on her because I used to work at the same job employment. Um with her and I actually can be on her side for actually that one. There was a lot of drama and it was a very toxic workplace around that time. It wasn't really management. It was just the employees around the company. Oh, well, you can say one now, was he racist? What did he do to give you that impression? He really hated Mexicans and we only had one black person working there and the rest were all white. That's the majority of uh, corporate America. Did you hear him say racist things about oh, yeah, Mexicans, for example? Oh, okay. Well, then say that. Say, I've heard him say racist things about Mexicans. You brought a very important issue to light. And we wanted, and I was able to bring out the employment situation between white folks and black folks, the differences, and with women, all of our um in the last 20 years for sure have been female showrunners that operate that run this show we have won an award for the most diverse show in television i believe yeah we have uh representatives of the lbgtq community and those are all the things sh that should happen in the workplace and those are the folks that be should be representative of what society is. So plaintiff Lucas Campbell says he and the defendant were best friends, but he claims she's nothing but an underage drunk and he has the video to prove it. Tell me about how she owes you. Um, so I added, so I got a Capital One credit card. I got it in August and um, Alexis was saying how she has, you know, no credit and what you call it um she said that her mom possibly fraudulently used her social security number back when she was a child and she couldn't get no credit so me as a best friend i said do you want to be added on my credit card so you can build credit too because me and her were going to plan to get an apartment she said yes well i had a bunch of issues um i caught a case um, back in North Carolina, um, and I got a phone call from Crystal stating that um, Lexi has negative credit because of the impact from Capital One. I did not realize with all the stuff that was going on, it got behind and it went overdue. I completely forgot about the credit card. She's just calling me saying, you know, Oh, she has a negative impact on her card. And I said, and me being the ho Southern hospitality, I apologized. I said, yes, ma'am. And no, ma'am. I said, you know, I will take care of this as soon as possible. You know, what has she done to you to defame you? So I heard, so I was talking to one of my friends. Um, he was telling me that, um, that she was saying that I stole her identity, even though I, um, asked for her permission to get her personal information to add her on the credit card. And if you look at pages one through two, they are authorized notices via Capital One, the emails. And then um, on uh, pages three to four, there is actually um, one of the chats where he was saying that it was true of she was saying what she was saying, of saying not how I saw her identity. All right, let me hear from you, young lady, about the identity and the All credit right. card. I had no emails from Capital One for me to sign my signature, what you got to do to get a credit card. Never signed my signature. Never gave him my Social Security card to get my Social Security number. That's not true because how would I... 
added her as an authorized have, user if I needed her social security number. Because you have not, I'm not, I'm not just going to go call Crystal and be like, hey, what's Lexi's, you know, social security number? And, you know, what's her, you know, her her blood type and, you know, where she was born at and what time she what was born What do you say to with, that? How, you know? did he, how would he get it, you think? Um, he helped me a year ago with a job application and I need my social security number. And he remembers numbers like you'll see, you'll see a license plate and be like, oh, I saw that like four weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I work at a, I'm an oil technician. We punch in plate numbers all day, every day. And so, social I mean, security numbers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she says. And if you look at page eight, it has where he says, I didn't mean to do that to your credit on purpose. Plaintiff Lucas Campbell says he and the defendant were best friends, but he claims she's nothing but an underage drunk, and he has the video to prove it. Sir, did you say that? She's about to show me, telling me about something on page eight where you apologized and said you didn't do it on purpose. I didn't, I was helping her out. I didn't mean for the card to be a negative impact on her maliciously. I was her best friend. I wouldn't want something going on her negative impact on her credit to be done maliciously. But you did, but you did. However it occurred, it occurred. You didn't mean to, it's an admission. I did it, but I didn't mean to. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I I wanted it to happen to you. You say the same thing you're saying today. Say the same thing you're saying today. Insisted that wasn't the case. What's your counterclaim for, young lady? Emotional distress. A thousand dollars. What is? What did he do to you? I had to get a car that I have to put two thousand dollars of work in because my credit score is now a zero. Okay. And I can't get a car. Um, I had to put over two hundred dollars trying to find an apartment to live in because I'm staying in a camper right now. And, and it all stemmed I've from bad. It all stemmed from the bad credit that came from his from the credit card. Yes, sir. Okay. Your Honor. You have anything to say about her? The emotional distress she has endured since the time of your. Uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I mean, yes. You have to realize that again. You okay? She. When 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 I got back from Florida and I had to take care of something that I called a case with North Carolina, Chris called my mother while she was at work stating that she took care of it. And I looked on my Credit Karma app and it gave us a plus 84 points on my credit score because the credit line was taken off. That's for you. That's a beautiful thing for you. <laughs> it hurt her credit. Yeah, but you realize, you realize there have been an authorized too, so it would have for hurting her credit. your credit. That is something that damaging a person's credit is certainly emotional distress. Uh, and I'm going to dismiss your case. She didn't dis- uh, She didn't defame you. She told the truth on you. You did ruin her credit. Uh, and I believe you used her social security numbers. Have a good day. Uh, your claim is dismissed. Counterclaim judgment for you, young lady. Right. Bye bye. Thank you, Your Honor. Mm-hmm. I just want to say this: don't say nothing bad about me. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Don't say nothing bad about me. I'm tired of getting good. Went and went and went and went. Yup. Point blank. And I'm not and I'm not upset because you know I lost the case and you won. I'm not totally mean by that. By upset by that at all. It is what it is. But I just said the my part and it had to be out. Facts are facts. I would have forgave you if it didn't ruin my life. But I have to work harder now just to be able to live how I wanted to live now, Lucas. 